I don't know about you guys, but having a coffee in the morning is just spectacular. I don't know any other word to describe it. It just wakes me up. So recently I moved back to oat milk because apparently skimmed milk isn't too great for the skin. So I went back to oat milk and I forgot how good oat milk is in lattes. I think it is the superior milk for lattes in my opinion. If you've never had an oat milk latte, just, just give it a go. But anywho, yo everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. I've sat down and I thought about the videos I've been making recently and they're all about spring fashion, but I realized I haven't made a video about what I wear. So the purpose of this video is to go over some outfits that I'll be wearing or have been wearing throughout the season of spring. I hope by doing so, it'll give you guys a bit more insight about how I style and choose my clothes and what I focus on when I'm making outfits. So for this video, I'm gonna be showcasing five outfits that I will be wearing or have already worn this spring. You guys may have already seen this on my Instagram and if you haven't followed me yet on my Instagram, I hope this shameless plug will get you guys to follow me. I do post on there and there's gonna be outfits on there that you guys haven't seen yet. And of course, at any point that you find this video helpful, interesting or entertaining, please leave a like since it does help the channel to grow. Right, and let's just get into it. So for outfit number one, I was going for an 80s vibe with a modern take to it. So for the cap, I got the Mitchell Ness gold emblem cap in burgundy. I really like this cap because it's the perfect cap for me if I want to add a splash of colour to the outfit. I really like the burgundy colour of the cap because it is a splash of colour, but it's not so vibrant that it draws attention to you. It's a bit dull in colour but that's not a bad thing and it suits my sort of style and personality. I like wearing nice clothes but I don't like attracting a lot of attention. So this burgundy cap is just perfect for that. So for the base layer t-shirt, it's a no brainer, it's the Uniqlo Aerism oversized t-shirt in white. I think it's the best white t-shirt money can buy at the moment. It has a really great fit, it feels great on the skin and I think it's decently priced for what you're getting. Now for the jacket which is something I really really love. It's the Carhartt Work in Progress Summer Detroit Jacket in Faded Black. Now this is the modern take on the vintage Carhartt Detroit jackets before Carhartt updated to their modern models. So just for a piece of information I want to throw in there, Carhartt and Carhartt Work in Progress are two different brands. Carhartt mainly sells clothes for workwear and Carhartt Work in Progress is workwear streetwear. So the Detroit jacket that WIP sells, it's the one that's more similar to the vintage Detroit jacket because Carhartt now only sells the new updated version of the jacket. So if you want the older style of Detroit jackets, you're going to have to go buy one from WIP or buy a vintage one from a secondhand seller. Overall, I really like this jacket. It feels like it feels great on the body and since it is the summer version there is no lining inside so it's very very lightweight but in comparison to the vintage Detroit jackets I really do miss the extra details at the back which I think also helped the vintage ones have that balloon fit Another thing to keep in mind is that these work in progress jackets are not as cropped as the vintage ones that you can get. So for someone my height it's gonna sit below the waist and it's like a normal fitting jacket but if you're around six foot, it should end around your waistline. As for the jeans, they're my favorite Levi High Loose Tapered Jeans in light indigo stone wash blue. That's a bit of a mouthful, but that is the color. And I feature these in a lot of my outfits because I just wear them a lot. I love how they fit and how they feel my body and they're comfy in their sweatpants, I swear to God. So you know it is the real deal. And finally, for the sneakers, we have my trusty Converse Chuck 70 High Tops in black. These go with almost every outfit, but I think they have the really right silhouette to help me enhance that 80s vibe, so that's why I chose them. And as I always say, I like to show my converses, otherwise there's no point wearing them. So I cuff my jeans up a bit just to show the emblem. So since the jacket isn't cropped and the jeans aren't completely straight leg and I wore a cap because I don't have very fluffy hair, I think all these factors help to make the outfit look a bit more modern. Another thing to point out is that I never tuck in my shirt. So going for this sort of style is very different, but overall I personally really, really like this outfit. I love the combination of colors and how interesting everything goes together. But overall, I think it's a very simple outfit for everyday wear. And that's all for outfit number one. 
So for outfit number two, we have the hoodies and jeans combo, which can be seen as generic, but it doesn't have to be purely generic because if you put a bit of thought into little details, fits, etc., you can make the outfit interesting. To start things off, I have my favorite cap, the Obey Script cap in black. The reason why I love this one in particular is because how it sits on my head. The hem of the cap doesn't touch my ear and that's what I really like about it. It just fits my head very well. For the base layer, we are wearing the Uniqlo Aerosin t-shirt. Like as always, you're going to be seeing this a lot more because it's just the perfect base layer t-shirt. But to be honest, any white t-shirt will do since it's a base layer underneath the hoodie. And the reason why I'm wearing a white base layer t-shirt is because it helps to break the outfit as you can see. It splits the hoodie from the jeans and without it, it'll be lacking a bit of detail. As for the hoodie I'm wearing, it's the Acid Watch Box Hoodie from Zara. Everything about this hoodie is great, from its cropped and boxy fit to the feel and quality of the fabric. There's also a lot of subtle distressing and I want to emphasize on the word subtle because it doesn't have a lot of distressing and that's another reason why I really like it. It's these minor details in clothes that I really like. And I really like the acid wash too. It's just enough that the hoodie doesn't look like it's gone through a ringer. And for the pants, we have the Carhartt Work in Progress Brandon pants in stone wash blue. They're a baggy fit straight leg jean that I personally really like because of how they fit on me. They sit on my waist very well and overall they're a super comfy jean. The colour is also very interesting. It's a shade of blue that's not dark enough to be indigo and not light enough to be mid-wash. So that's another reason why I really like them. And as for the shoes, I don't think there's a better trainer for this outfit other than the Air Force Ones 07 in white and black. The Air Force Ones in this colorway, in my opinion, are very versatile since they can be dressed up or down very easily. Another thing that's great about the Air Force Ones is that they have that right silhouette for pants just to rest on them. And to finish things off, we have the Uniqlo drawstring bag in black. I've had a lot of fun with this bag. It's an interesting and inexpensive bag. The drawstring creates a bit of flow and movement to the outfits, just enough to create interest but not enough to draw a lot of attention. It's a really nice subtle detail and it's a great addition to the overall outfit. And there we have it, a simple hoodie and jeans sort of outfit for my everyday needs, but there's a lot of detail going on despite being simple. Moving on to outfit number three, and I just personally really like this outfit. There's just something about hoodies and shorts going together that I really really like. So I'm wearing the Mitchell Ness burgundy cap again because it adds that colour that I want to the outfit. Inside again we have that base layer white t-shirt if you really want to know and if you really want to guess of course it's the Uniqlo Aerosin t-shirt. And as you guys might already know I really love my black American script Carhartt work in progress hoodie because of its fit and how it feels. It's a heavyweight hoodie and it just feels really nice on the skin. So I just had to go get one in the grey. And for the shorts, these are the Dickies Dot Canvas Carpenter Shorts in brown. They are amazing. They feel and fit so good on me. Because it's dark canvas, it's gonna fade and distress over time quite quickly. So it'll become unique to how you wear it. And honestly, the fabric just feels so nice. It's quite thick and it's sort of breathable and it's stretchy. And these are all the things that you really want in a pan. And of course, Shorts and converse high tops, you can't go wrong there because you get to show your converses on display as a whole. To finish things off, we have the Carhartt Work in Progress Delta Day Pack Bag in Eucalyptus. I really, really like this eucalyptus colour. It's like a dark teal and I just love teal. And the great thing about this bag is that it does more than just enhance the outfit. It's spacious enough to carry a DSLR and a lens in there. I've done it when I went to Paris. And that's it for outfit number three. It's for the days in spring where it's going to be a bit warmer in the mornings and it's going to get a bit colder in the night. For outfit number four, we're going to go down a smarter route. To start things off, I'm going to talk about the cap as usual. We have the Carhartt Work in Progress Harlem Corduroy cap in wool white or how I like to call it, my beige corduroy Carhartt cap. The subtle branding and texture makes this hat great for simple outfits. As for the shirt, we have the weekday relaxed oversized linen button shirt. It feels really good quality and the fit is super casual but still smart because of the details. I can wear this shirt tucked or untucked but I think with this outfit, tucking it in just makes it look really nice. As for the trousers, we have Zara's beige smart trousers. I can't remember the exact name of them and I couldn't find the name online but they're super comfy, they flow very well 
and I think that the material just feels really nice on the skin. As for my footwear, it's the Birkenstock Boston's with socks. I feel like this outfit gives a perfect opportunity to wear these. They really help complete that smart casual aesthetic for the whole outfit. And to split the outfit a bit, otherwise it's just tonal beige, I've added the Coach Graham crossbody in black to add a bit of boldness to the outfit. And that's outfit number four. It's super simple, smart casual, and it gives off a slightly cool aesthetic as well. And I think the color weight is just perfect perfect for spring. For outfit number 5, we are going to keep it smart casual but we're going to darken things up a bit. So to start things off, we have the Obey cap in black again, the Aerism t-shirt and for the pants, it's the weekday Ken tracksuit pants in black. These are amazing because they are crossed between smart and casual. The material feels great and the texture is a detail that you cannot miss. The pleat in the front is the main attraction here, which also helps to create that smart look despite being a tracksuit pant. And as for the sneakers, we have again the Nike Air Force ones in white and black to help accentuate the casual smart aesthetic feel. And to finish things off, I'm wearing the Uniqlo drawstring bag. Now you can see how it differs from the previous use. In this case, it's helping to break up the outfit, but it's also helping to enhance that smart casual look. This monochromatic smart casual outfit will probably be one of my go-tos when I want to wear something smart, especially because I love how the Ken pants work in this one. And with outfit number five done, we have finished all five outfits. Did you like the outfits? Do you have a favorite or did you hate them all? Let me know in the comment section below. The thing I love about these outfits is that they're super versatile. I can easily just swap a piece out with another piece and it'll give an entirely different vibe to the outfit. For example, if you look at outfits four and five, they're both smart casual, but because I'm playing around with different materials, different textures, different shapes and different colors, they give off different vibes. And that is what's brilliant about having a versatile wardrobe. And again, I always bang on about this, but that's why I'm trying to advocate building wardrobes that you have outfits that you can easily mix and match with. And that's what I always keep in mind when I'm buying new pieces for my wardrobe. I always think about how can I spread this one piece of clothing throughout different outfits. And that's something that you should do as well if you want to build a good wardrobe full of essentials that will last you a long time. And it goes without saying that I'm not only going to wear these five outfits throughout the spring, I have many other outfits that I'm going to wear and I've shared some on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me already, you know, drop me a follow there. I'll really appreciate it. And if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like. And if you want more content like this, then please consider subscribing to the channel. I want to hit a thousand subscribers for July and your subscription will help me out a lot. And as always, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace.